Hello and welcome to one of the most highly requested videos of all time. Today I'm going to show you how to use the self threader on my sewing machine, which is the Project Runway Brother sewing machine. And I will have information listed down below all about that because I want to jump right in. You're here to see how the heck to self thread your machine. Now, PS, I'm going to give you a couple different views. So if you don't get it, if you don't see it on this first time, just stick around because I'm going to show you a few different views because I know it took me a while to get. So let's go ahead and get a little closer. Now, if you want to see more on how to actually thread your sewing machine. Um, I will have a video for that listed below as well. I'm going to assume that you know how, and we're at the point before putting it into the needle. So everything is threaded up here. And basically I'm going to go ahead and show you the little mechanism that is, is the self threader. So you will see this little, um, button here that you can press down like so, and you'll see that it can turn. That is the self threader. Now, one really important thing, you need to have your needle at the very highest point for this to work, okay? So if you're having trouble, um, please double check that your needle is at the highest setting. Now we're super close up just so I can show you the pieces um, that we will be talking about. And so there is this first piece that is the upside down U metal piece right here. And then if you see when I press this down, there is like four little prongs. You'll see it as I press and they go, when you press all the way down, they go around the needle, but there's four little prongs. And so we're going to be talking about both of these metal pieces. So you can see the four metal prongs and then the upside down U metal piece. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by pressing down about halfway. So before it goes around the needle, so go back up. So we're going to go halfway down and you're going to take your thread and you're going to loop it underneath the U, upside down U shape metal piece. Now just hold the thread to the side kind of taut so that it does stay underneath the U. Now go ahead and we're going to press all the way down so that that four prong metal piece goes around the needle and we're going to go ahead and take our thread and we're going to just put it right in between the middle. So there's two prongs on top and two prongs on the bottom and you're simply just going to hold it there. It doesn't click in or anything. You're just going to hold it in the middle and you're gonna bring the thread towards the back and I'll give you another view so you can see this a little bit better. Now you're holding it towards the back, but you also want to kind of loosely um, hold it because when we release this, it's gonna pull the thread through the eye of the needle. So now loosely hold it, but hold it towards the back, the thread, and you're gonna go ahead and just let this pull up and you're gonna feel that come through the needle. So you can see right here that it pulled it right through the eye of the needle and you are going to be left with this little um, loop. So it doesn't pull it all the way through. You're just going to have like the, the loop of the thread. And then what you can do there is you can just take that and I can't do it with this hand, but you'll just pull the loop all the way through and then your needle will be threaded. So again, let me show you another view of this. So we're gonna try this view now. So I have my thread and we're gonna remember press it halfway down and I know you can't exactly see the U shape, um, the, the upside down U shape, but just bear with me. We're going to loop underneath the U shape and we're gonna just kind of hold it to the side for a moment while we press all the way down. And now you can see that the four prongs go around the needle and there's two on top and two on the bottom. And you're just going to simply hold it kind of um, horizontal and just through the middle of those prongs. So there's now there's two on top of the thread and two beneath the thread. Now we're gonna hold the thread towards the back. Just let this release. Your thread will get pulled through the eye of the needle. And now you can see, I can just pull that loop all the way through and your needle is threaded. I'm telling you guys, you gotta give this a try because it's a game changer. 
And just to be certain that you guys could really get a good view of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it a third time from a different view. And so now you can see here is the plastic lever that you can press down. And so I'm gonna press it halfway down, hold this underneath the U. I'm gonna bring it back to the side just so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press all the way down. Now I'm gonna take my thread and just kind of basically thread it through the center of the four prongs and hold it to the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and release and then it pulls it through. Now, if it doesn't catch on the first time, guys, again, make sure that your needle is at the highest point. And then also just make sure that everything is um, threaded correctly and you should be totally fine. Now, if you're having issues still, then you do want to go ahead and make sure that everything's aligned right on your sewing machine and um, you should be good to go. So I really hope that you guys liked seeing this video. It's probably not the best quality, but I hope it helps you out so that you can use this self-threader on your Project Runway Brother sewing machine. I will see you guys in another video. Bye!